In this video, we are going to talk about bolt connection geometry. The parts that we are going to talk about are the edge distance, the minimum, the maximum edge distance, and also the maximum pitch, the minimum pitch. Lastly, the bolt holes. What dimensions you can use. Okay, so we'll move on to this video. and in my channel my vision is to bring tips and tutorials to civil engineering graduates undergraduate students who are studying to do their civil engineering degree if you are new to this channel then you can sus subscribe hit the notification bell to receive notifications for further videos and if you're all to this channel welcome back I hope you enjoy this video so what is edge distance we can look at it as in the illustration we have we, we, where we have a plate of a column base plate where we have the bolts four bolts and also the column circular hollow section as the column and then we have the bolts and you can see that the dis edge distance is from the center of that bolt to the edge of the plate okay inform okay if you if we are looking at the dimensions now on how to calculate it we'll look at the three options that you have the first case is when you have you can multiply your uh, diameter of your by 1.75 the diameter of this is the nominal diameter of your bolt or fastener okay if you multiply it by 1.75 that is for sheared or hand flamed cut edges sheared is when you use a shearing machine to cut the edges where the applications are for blanking piercing and so on etc for hand flame cut is when you use an oxyacetylene flame to cut the edges of your section or plate or that you're using in your connection. Okay, in that case it is used for sections which are coped, notched, and beveling okay, of your sections. The next one is where case number two is when you cut your edge. The next case is multiplying 1.5 times your diameter. And this is done for machine flame cut edges, sawn edges, or planned edges. Sawn edges are when you have your sections or your edges cut by rotary blade with high speed planning is done for when you have edges which are not treated or surfaces of steel which are not treated and this is done planning is done in order for it to be treated machine flame cut edges are done by oxyacetylene flame but using machines to do your cutting. Case number three is 1.25 times your diameter and it is done for rolled edges or rolled sections. Okay? So if we look at an example having a bolt diameter of 12, if we look at case number one, our calculations will be as so. In the first case, our bolt diameter will be times by 1.75 which will give you 
21 as your edge distance. The third case is when you multiply our diameter all by 1.5 times 12 which is your ball diameter and is, is equal to and is equal to 18. The last case is when you multiply your nominal diameter of your dimension our bolt to 1.25 which will equal to 15. Okay, let's look at the maximum edge distance. The maximum edge distance can be found by multiplying 12 by the thickness of your plate or your outer ply or can equal to 150 mil whichever is the smallest will be used as the maximum edge distance. Okay, the second bolt connection geometry is the pitch. We will talk about the maximum pitch of your bolt connection geometry and the minimum pitch of your bolt connection geometry. The pitch of a um, bolt connection as seen in this video here, you'll see that it is the distance between the bolt holes on your connection center of the bolt hole connection in a, a row which is in the direction of the force that is applied in your section or your connection okay so how to calculate the minimum pitch for your bolt connection the minimum pitch of a bolt connection as stated by AS for 100 can be calculate by, calculated by multiplying 2.5 times your diameter of your normally the diameter of your bolt. If the connection is intended for tension, tension connections, then you will need to consider the tool that is used in order for you to calculate the minimum pitch. The maximum pitch of a bolt connection can be found by multiplying 15 times the thickness of your ply or it can be 200 mil. Whichever is less will be used as the maximum pitch. But there are cases where you have to not use this value and these two cases are as follows. As stated by S4100, if your fastener is, play, not allow, is not carrying any load and is in a region where corrosion is not liable, then is liable, then you would use 32 times the thickness of ply or 300 mil, whichever is less. So for outside region, uh, for fasteners on the outside, you can use, must, the maximum pitch must be less than four times the thickness of plate ply or auto ply and must equal plus 100 mil or you can use 200 mil but whichever is less will be used. Okay, bolt holes. The bolt connection geometry states that the bolt holes which are less than or equal to M24 must be equal to, calculated by adding 2 mil to the diameter of your fastener. The second case is if it's greater than M24 diameter bolts then you'll be using your diameter of your fastener bolt plus three mil for your bolt holes in cases where you're using your bolts in your base plate then you have to add six mil to the bolts that you will use in your base plate Okay, so if you enjoy this video and want to watch more on um, structural concepts and connections, then 
you can check out my two other videos here and you can also subscribe to get notifications.